Hey everybody, this is Mark Romer. I'm a product manager on the Data Factory team. What I'm going to demonstrate for you today is Fabric Data Factory. So I'm going to show you very briefly today an introduction to data flows for data transformation and pipelines for orchestrating your processes within Fabric. So let's jump in. Here we go. All right, so now I'm inside of my Fabric workspace and I'm going to create first a data flow data flows that i'm going to use to transform data and to bring that into my lake house i'm going to grab some data from my sql server so i'm going to connect into my azure sql database that has some loans data look at some loans data i'll find my table i'll see a preview of the data make sure that this is what i want that is it let's go ahead and create this data flow now i have turned on the data profiling so i can see the profiles of the columns within my data and I can take a look at the data distributions and I can look at how many null values there are and ways that I can uh, manipulate my data based on this information is going to really help me to build my ETL job. So what I want to do is I want to take out the lower graded loans from this list. So I'm just going to look at the A's and B's from this table. Okay, just one other thing that we'll do is we'll clean up this um, column which is homeowners and it's all capitals and we actually want that to be proper cased. So I'm going to use the text transform of capitalize each word, and that fixes that column. I think that's enough just to kind of get the idea. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into the lake house here in my fabric workspace. So I'm going to take the lake house as my destination, and I'll give it a, all right, and I'll create a new table called loans, and I'll include all the columns. That sounds fine. Go ahead and save that. And there is my data flow. Now what I'm going to do is publish this so it becomes part of my workspace. Now, I want to build a pipeline so that I can perform a couple of operations um, and orchestrate those together into a workflow. And one of those is going to flow. One of the things I'm going to do is to invoke that data flow so that it can transform that data and then put it into the lake house. So I'm going to say new data pipeline, give it a name. And I'm going to be in the pipeline part of Data Factory inside of Fabric. Let's just go ahead and let's add a pipeline activity. Let's get start with that data flow that's we just created. So I'll pick data flow as the activity and I'll select the data flow that we just created. After that data flow writes the data to the lake house, I want to perform some actions on that data in the lake house. So one of the things I'm going to do is execute a notebook that I've written. And the notebook will be able to now read the data that has been uh, properly capitalized and also that has only the A and B graded loans in it. So inside of that notebook activity, I can pick one of my notebooks and I can even parameterize that if I needed to. At the end of this, when this is all done, I'm going to send myself an email and to the team that I collaborate with saying that the process has completed. So I'll use the email activity. Inside of the email activity, I will send an email. So I'm going to take the email address in here and then a subject line. And then I can create a body here for the email and I can include dynamic content coming from, for example, from a previous pipeline activity. I can include the output from that notebook activity. From there, I can save and run, and then I am complete. Now, this run would act as a, as almost like a test for my pipeline, but I will also then want to schedule this. So I can use the scheduler to set the frequency and set the run calendar for my pipeline. Okay, so that was a really quick brief intro to data integration projects within Fabric. So in the Fabric workspace, I showed you how you can get started with a data flow for data transformation and a pipeline for building orchestration workflows. Your next step is to create a Fabric workspace and build an analytical solution using Fabric and then use the data factory components to load data and to transform data. Thank you for watching. If you would please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks again.